Hi, and welcome to this comparison of sorts. Now, what I'm going to show you right now is two ways to make cinemagraphs. One using Adobe's Photoshop and the other using Flixel Cinemagraph Pro. Now, the reason I'm comparing these is I've heard a lot of people say that they would rather use Photoshop than um, buy into Cinemagraph Pro, which I do think is a superior program. Now, I love Photoshop for working on my photos, but the problem is, is that the process of making a cinemagraph is quite long and a little bit complicated. And you're going to see in this video, which I've sped up as much as I could uh, in ScreenFlow here. Um, but basically, it is a little bit complicated. I've made a couple of mistakes along the way as I was trying to speed up the process as much as I could. But it's basically a very complicated process. And I'm going to take you through it right now. So what we're going to get into is just I've loaded up my image in Photoshop and then I'm going to quickly basically adjust the uh, in and out points of the video to try and find a suitable loop. I'm going to adjust or uh, copy the layer. Okay. And I'm going to arrange those so that they uh, meet uh, at uh, the front and end points. And then what I'm going to try and do basically is uh, create a uh, crossfade. So I've got to adjust the copy in and out points, adjust the opacity uh, by making some keyframes. And you can see that I've greatly uh, sped this up to try and uh, keep it within a suitable time frame. Um, I do have a tutorial on this later. Okay. But anyway, so then you've got to create your top layer, which will be the still animation. And then you've got to uh, brush away the moving parts. Okay. And then I'm going to yeah quickly brush away, check to where it is because I can't see uh, if you don't hit the backslash key. Seems okay. I'm going to run through it a couple of times just to make sure I got the motion. And I'm going to make a few uh, couple of edits here. Uh, just to try and uh, adjust the clip length. And you see here, I'm, I'm trying to uh, really adjust everything just to make a minor uh, adjustment on the actual length of the clip. Then I'm going to export and render as video. Okay. And that is it. Now, what we're going to do next is uh, show you how easy it is uh, to make this same cinemagraph uh, inside of uh, Flixel Cinemagraph Pro. And I have sped this up, but it's also a very quick process, maybe five or six steps and you're done versus however many we did in Photoshop. So let's take a look at this. So I've got my video loaded up. All I'm doing now is just quickly dragging the in and out points. And again, I'm taking my time with this. I'm not trying to hurry to make it look faster or anything. Uh, I'm really sort of trying to find a decent uh, in point and out point. And you can see that each time I'm just already brushing my um, layer away. Uh, I'm, I'm adjusting the speed, which I couldn't do. The crossfade, that was fast. Now um, adding in a filter. All right making some basic adjustments. Okay, none of which uh, I did in the Photoshop because it would just take too long. Now adding in some repetitions, which I couldn't do, and exporting it as a MP4 just as we did in Photoshop. And bing bada boom, we are done. And we've got a perfect flowing cinemagraph. So you see here the biggest difference uh, between Cinemagraph Pro and Photoshop is the fact that what takes even a few moments or up to a f several minutes can be done effortlessly. And I really want you to focus on a the editing. We've got filters and the crossfade because the crossfade you saw there, that whole section where I'm duplicating the layer, making the keyframes, adjusting the opacity is done within seconds inside of Flexible Cinemagraph Pro, and that's the biggest difference. If you're wondering why I use Cinemagraph Pro rather than a, a powerful program like Photoshop, it's simply because I can do this not only on my computer, but on my phone. And what you're looking at right now is an amazing result with just a few moments of work. 
So there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and do check out my link as I am an affiliate with Flixel and you can get a discount if you so choose to pick up the program. Have a great week.